Welcome to Fret Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the High Gain series. This is a series of guitar reviews on the High Gain series. We're doing all custom made guitars. We've purchased 10 guitars without any of the builders knowing that we were doing any kind of reviews, and we are on number five. Number five. So, what are you holding? This is the Mayones. That is the Mayones. Yep. And that one is a special Mayones. It is actually a Mayones Regis. It is special because it's a baritone. So that's a 27 inch scale, no multi scaling. Um, <clears throat> and it has monster strings, almost like a bass yeah. guitar, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're pretty big. I think they're 66s up on the B string, I mean, up on the top. So we have it tuned because it's a baritone, we have it tuned just like a seven without the, without the high E. Um, and it is just a very angry guitar. Now, there's a very interesting story on this guitar. I told you a little bit last time. I'm going to make it short and sweet. I was going to buy a very similar guitar to this straight from my owners out of Poland. Had my finger on the deal. I don't remember if my kid, something happened in the house and I had to jump off. I was gone for 20 minutes. I came back. Something asked, it hit me to just go on Palin Music site. Uh, they're a company out of Missouri, and I think they got like a bunch of stores. But anyway, um, I kind of become internet friends with a guy over there named Nash, and he's kind of maybe he's over the internet stuff. I don't know where he's at. He could be in Bangladesh. I don't know where he's at, <laughs> but he works for Palin. <clears throat> and I got on their site, and they just got this. And I was like, man, that's what I was going to buy. But once I looked at it, I was like, nah, it's a little different. So we talked about price. We're going to get into that in a minute. We talked about price on this one, and um, <clears throat> it just ended up being better to just buy it direct from Palin since it had just come in than to go through all the process of getting it from Poland. Got to get through customs. Right. Then I got to pay DHL or somebody to get it to me, whatever mm -hmm. they deem is their fee for coming to America. Yep. So <clears throat> with all that being said, we actually bought this one in the U.S., and it is from their custom shop. What do you feel about it? How do you think about it? It's it's really good. I mean, this it's the first first Mayones I've played, but I feel like this is the kind of quality you would expect to get out of every one of them. So, how do you feel? I bought it because I didn't have a seven string at the time. Okay, mm -hmm. and the, I, we talked about this before. But the last time I played seven string was kind of at the conception of seven strings. It was like playing a brick yeah. for a neck. So I thought, well, if I can get it on a six string neck, we'll just run the tuning like a seven. I kind of got the best of both worlds. So how do you feel about how big the strings are? It's it's different. It's uh they're just thick. They're just big yeah, I boys. think it's a 66 up on the top there, but anyway, um we have it in standard B tuning with drop A. Um it does have really good pickups. We're going to get into that in a minute. Um, binding all the way around the guitar. Um, it is just a masterpiece. And we spoke a little bit last time. Mayonis is a bigger builder. They started as a custom shop builder. You can call them and you can get a 100% custom year everything. Um, but they do build some factory builds um, that are not like they're outsourcing them or nothing. They're just building all the time. And so then they, they have a few dealers around the world and the dealers get what they get according to what I understand. They just get what they get when they get it. Yeah. Now, any of those dealers you can call and just place a special order through that dealer with Mayones or... Pretty sure you could probably just order it straight through Mayones. And every once in a while, I, I don't see it anymore. But when we first started this, every once in a while, you'd see something in stock. But you don't anymore because it just ships out to the other companies. So keep that in mind. Palin Music, along with a ton of other ones, usually have these guitars. So um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get into the specs. Then we're going to let you hear it in a mix. Um, and then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about kind of uh, price point, how we feel about it. Uh, we didn't have to wait for it to come across the sea, so that was a huge deal. Yeah, that's a, that's a big bonus. Um, and just to see if we feel like um, how this guitar rates for what you pay for it, mm -hmm. for what it does. And uh, yeah, so y'all hang in there. We'll be right back. 
Okay, we're back. So now we're going to talk about what makes this guitar so special and probably so high priced. Yeah. So what you're going to have on this guitar is you're going to have a maple cap here. And this is a quilted maple. It's a 4-8. Um, you're going to have binding all the way around the guitar, which Monus does on most of their guitars, or at least a lot on their Regis, maybe not on their DeBells, but this is a Regis. Now they make two Regises. They make a Regis, which this has a lot of cuts, but it is more of a flat top. And they make a Regis core, which is, looks just like this, but it's a carved top. Um, this is uh, 24 frets, stainless steel. Uh, the fret work on this is amazing. Needless to say, I shouldn't even have to say that. It has a tusk <laughs> nut. Um, it has um, the cap to match on the headstock. And then we're going to have uh, hip shot locking tuners, open gear. You, if you know me, if you watch the channel, pretty much going to be on everything I can get. Um, it's got a hip shot bridge, fixed bridge. Um, it comes with Mayonis's, um bare knuckles, but they're built for Mayonis and they're called TKOs. Um, when I first lit, when I first thought about ordering this guitar, I thought, well, I'm gonna pay a lot of money for this guitar, and then I'm gonna change out the pickups because mm -hmm. I don't want no TKOs. I don't even know about them. I wouldn't touch this guitar. These pickups really work well. Um, my owners uses these pickups in a lot of their guitars. I've noticed in the last six months or so, they're beginning to kind of open up to more bare knuckles. Uh, I've seen them with a little bit of everything in them now. Um, the neck on this guitar is 11 ply, and there's four different woods in it. Turn around so they can see that strip. It is neck through. Um... And then on either side here, you're going to have Swamp Ash Wings. Um, this guitar is very low down and dirty. Um, it is... It's got a, a good growl to it. Yes. And, you know, the pickups have a lot to do with it. The wood does too, but the pickups have a lot to do with it. Um, all of your body sculpting on the back for ergonomics is just amazing. Mm -hmm. um, if there was one thing about this guitar I didn't like, and Colton knows it, I really don't like it when you antique my stuff. Right. Yeah. I buy something brand new. Maybe I'm weird. And if I'm okay with it. This is an antique black. So it gives kind of a multicolor. Um, and that's straight from the factory. I, I didn't rub it off that quick. Yeah, right. Um, I've learned to live with it, but I don't really care to buy a guitar um, that's antiqued. But I learned to live with this because I just thought this was a heck of a deal. I, uh, I kind of agree with you. Uh, I think it does complement it, you know, the color. If, maybe if it were any other color, I probably wouldn't like it. It really works well with that wood. Mm -hmm. That's probably because, you know, all all right here on the yep. on the face just really helps tie that together, even though you don't really see it. So how do you feel about the weight of it? Um, it's, it's a smidge heavier than the Lacello. But not much. But when not you think much. about the size of the guitar, yeah. neck through. So neck through mm -hmm. usually equates to, you know, heavier or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they put the, the Swamp Ash wings on this and on the neck. So it it alleviates some of the weight. Yeah. And then everything on the back of the guitar that touches your body is rounded. Mm -hmm. There's no square edges. Yeah. It, it just it, plays amazing. Yeah. Maybe. It just, it's comfortable. Very comfortable. Um, if you get playing this guitar for any period of time and you're you're used to playing guitar, once you get used to the strings being as big as they are, you get lost playing this guitar. You just go yeah. into a different little realm because mm -hmm. it plays so well. These guitars are really pricey. Um, their name has uh, inevitably begun to garner a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But I've put my hands on a few of them. This is the first baritone I've had by them. And I'm just being honest with you, man. If you've got the money to spend, um, you can close your eyes and pick one of these. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. Their guitars, their quality control is amazing. There's nothing. We've searched this thing. Uh, it just, everything is on point and everything is high end. There's nothing cheap on the guitar. Um, so what we're going to do in a minute we're going to jump over and we're going to put you in the mix, let you hear a little something on it. Um, 
it just has really good tone and really good string definition. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, yeah. it's it's pretty well. I like it. I had a feeling when I bought it before I touched it that maybe the string definition wouldn't be as great because we've got such big strings on it. Mm -hmm. But it really rings out true. It does. It really rings out true. Okay, so once again, we're going to shut up <laughs> and we're going to let you hear it in the mix. Okay, we're back. Um, you got to hear a little bit of it in the mix. Um, the thing just plays amazing. Uh, the tone is amazing. And I, like I said, we're running everything through the quad cortex on the standard patch, like a 5150 patch. Trust me, if I was to put this on an Omega amp or something, <laughs> you know, a Fortin, <laughs> that thing is very angry and very dark, yeah. very deep. Uh, but it still has really good string you know, mm -hmm. articulation, which is really cool. And, you know, I, I, I thought, like I said, I thought about changing out those pickups, man, but they just really work on that guitar. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I would change them. They yeah. sound really good. They just they just sound good. So here's where we are on it. We told you we did buy this one from Palin. This guitar from my own is um, kind of on their site, Europe. You're probably around 4400 sometimes a little higher, depending on who you're buying it from. I called Palin. They had just got it in. Um, oh, here's another thing, dude. If you don't live in Missouri and you order a guitar from them, I'm on video saying this, so I hope I'm telling the truth. You don't pay tax. Ta-da. That saves you that? a lot of money. How about that? On a $4,000 guitar. Yeah, so, that's kind of a big deal. I think we got this one right at four. Um, it comes in a, you know, a... a High Sox case straight from Mona's. Everything is directly from them. They are an approved Mona's dealer. You can order direct through them, you know, and set your guitar up however you want, and they'll put it into Mona's. They fix it, build it, send it to them, and then Palin sends it to you. Um, is it worth it? What do you think? Man? Um, my honest opinion. Yeah, well, I is I think it's. It's good. I'm not gonna lie. It's good. I, I think it sounds just as good as everything else we've reviewed. Right. And um, there is different price points. Yeah, it. it's a big difference in the price point. Uh, so if you don't mind paying a little bit more for the name, there's there's that. Take that for what it is. But I think this plays just as good as everything else that we have displayed so far. So a lot of people, I don't want to say that. People on the internet. Let me say it that way. Tend to kind of look at, and I'm, when I understand, if I say the letters PRS, I am not talking about S2s. I'm not talking about CEs. I'm just talking about their core line, not their private stock, their core line. So their core line is probably going to be right in the same price point as this guitar. Um, and 
when you touch it and you feel it, it feels like that. Yeah. Now, what we should have done, <clears throat> hindsight's always twenty twenty. I should have just ordered a regular six string mm -hmm. and not a baritone. Yeah. But at that time, I was fulfilling a need because mm -hmm. I wanted something that we could detune without going crazy on. And man, I've got this in drop A. You can play this thing in G. You can put it down in F sharp. I mean, this thing will do anything. It, it'll handle it. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, very stable. Um, like I said, the frets are just, and there's not even need talking about that. And down the neck, they're just impeccable. Anything at this price point better be. And I guess if you got one and it wasn't, I don't know. But I mean, <laughs> I just can't, you know, I don't. I shouldn't, you should never pick up a guitar that costs this much or close to this much and have to go, well, let me look at the frets. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if they're polished. Let me see if mm -hmm. the fret ends are right. Cause that's, that's what comes with this, yeah. you know, is that the should time. be a given. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, is it worth it? 3,800, 3,900, 4,000 bucks. If you can snatch one, <clears throat> I, I mean, it's a mayonnaise and, uh, who wouldn't want to play a mayonnaise guitar? Yeah, right. Right? Um, <laughs> they are a little pricier, but you're going to get real quality. Now, they do make guitars that are seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 if you know, you've really specced it out with all kinds of exotic stuff that you can't get but small pieces of. Yeah. But basically, through their Duvel line, which is a version of this, but is a bolt on, through their Duvel line, um, you're probably in that three grand range. This is a Regis, but it's not a core. So it's probably in the higher threes. A core is probably going to be between 4,200 and 6,200, maybe seven grand, depending on what you get, all you get done to it. Uh, but it is a carved top. Um, a lot more time uh, to build that guitar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Than just to cut a top out. So um, I think all in all, A, if I had the opportunity to go back and resend the buy, I wouldn't do that. I, uh, I paid, you know, what I paid for it, a little less than four grand. Um, and I think it's worth every penny for what it does. Yeah. Now, since that time, we've bought a couple sevens, mm -hmm. a couple different ways of looking at seven strings. And had I known some of that stuff, I probably wouldn't have bought this. I would have probably bought this in a regular 25.5 scale instead yeah. of a 27. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's just something about that guitar when you pick it up and start playing it, 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 it really is special. Yes, so it's a boss. Do yourself a favor. Um, you can go straight to Mayonis's website. Uh, they have a tab on there called Dealers. Regardless where you live on the planet, it'll tell you where the, you know, you can look in US, Europe, whatever you want to look. And then you can go to those dealers' websites. It's got their websites and you can see what they have in stock. Um, and if you don't find one, you need to start monitoring those because stuff just comes in. I talked to the guys up at Palin and they were like, we don't have a schedule. They just show up. So there you go. Yeah. All right. So I guess hand me that one and you're going to have to tell the audience because you ain't told me. What are we reviewing next? Um, I believe the one that we will be reviewing next is going to be the Skirbasin. So, our next review is going to be on this baby. Now, once again, it's amazing that you picked that, dude, because these two are kind of tied together. Oh, really now? So, I'm on Scarvason's website. If you've ever been to it, uh, this company's in Poland. This company's in Poland. Uh, they're direct competitors. Uh, not similar, but on tiers, yes. I mean, they're, yeah, yeah. These guys build amazing stuff. So... When you go on their site, they just have bodies that are cut out already and they're not finished or nothing. It's just a raw body. And then you can pick that and it'll tell you how much that build is. Um, this guitar, so they make a lot of different models and we're going to get into this, but this is a Mirage. It's a little bit different than their most popular guitar right now. This used to be their main guitar, but I prefer me. I prefer this body. It's a nice body. And uh, there's some very high-end appointments on this guitar, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy the review on it. It sounds amazing. Um, we're going to put it in a mix for you, everything that we normally do. Um, this is our number five review out of the 10. 
So we've promised you guys, and we're trying our best to make it work. Our videos come out on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. So it'll be Thursday when you're seeing this. Um, we're going to try to, by this weekend, we're going to try to have another video out. And uh, maybe it's going to be on the first five guitars, episodes one, two, three, four, five. It's just going to be a couple minutes on each guitar just to recap, mm -hmm. bring you back up to speed. And then our next video on the next Thursday will be on... Ta-da! It will be on that bad boy. If you've never played one of these, you're missing out. Yeah, that's all I got to say. You're missing out. Stay tuned for it. Yes. All right, well, listen. Thanks, everybody, so much, man. We've been getting all kinds of comments. We've been getting a lot of private messages. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. We're not sponsored. YouTube ain't paying us nothing. No. We're just doing this stuff because we had the ability to do it, and it just brings you a little bit closer. We have a bunch of stuff lined up for you guys. In the future, we're already in talks with a lot of the builders to do some things. We told you on the preview video we're going to be doing some giveaways. We're getting closer to that. Uh, we are going to be giving stuff away, mm -hmm. and it ain't going to be keychains. No. <laughs> um, this is about guitars, so we're, we're we're trying to round up some stuff on guitars and gear. And no, we're not going to the pawn shop and buying you a guitar and giving it to you. No. We're going to give you brand new stuff, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Brand new picks. <laughs> brand new picks. <laughs> Maybe a pack of strings if you're lucky. Mm -hmm. no, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take care of you. So please like our content. Please share it. we got to get there. It's important that a lot of people start watching this because the more people watch this, the easier it is to me to reconcile to give away stuff. It's tough. I love every one of you, but there's only a few of us. So if it gets spread around, we're going to do some giveaways and we're going to make this channel really fun. We got a lot of stuff coming that we hadn't even talked to you about yet. And I'm not just talking about guitars. We've been working on some stuff with some guys and we're going to, we're going to, it's going to be a very interesting channel. Yeah. So like our content, mm -hmm. share it, tell your buddy, Tell him we suck. He's got to watch it. I yeah. don't care what you tell him. Yeah. Tell him get on watch it. <laughs> and uh, maybe he'll like it too. Yeah. So until next time. Stay tuned. And use your blinkers. <laughs>